So here's the main page. You will start off with a tutorial once you start the game. Um, you will start off with a hunter. Where is it at? A common elf archer. That's what they'll give you up. But every single character they have, including the legendary ones, are unlocked for you to use during this tournament. So I'll go ahead and use every single one you can, especially the legendaries. Try to get you up in the 5,000 rank as soon as possible and then try to keep it there. Um, each one comes with different uh, stats. So this one uh, it has a long range death master hp damage you can upgrade using whatever they give you over here for free so don't worry about you know missing out because you'll earn these while playing as well uh, i've already used up the grim reaper i guess this is the most popular one among the users its uh, energy has not uh, come back yet i've got the life stealer angel i am currently using the angel you see that medium range it has an energy ball that splits and attacks the multiple enemies at the same time if it's in their range. It's a pretty easy game to get into. It's not hard. I'll show you what the legendary are, and I'll probably do the uh, elf as well if I have it. No, I don't have any energy on that one, but I'll pick something common just so you can see what it is. But let me, you know what? I can upgrade him. See? Cost me nothing. Continue, and I can continue to upgrade whatever I have over here but let me go with the angel because I've been playing with that one I still have 13 energy left um, as you can see here's the leaderboard 375 place I have 390 again these guys just play non-stop you're not going to compete with them unless you actually play non-stop as well so again we're casual here we're not trying to take everything seriously so it's easy to play you have your hunters, you have the inventory, they go over a few things over here. Let's see, inventory, or you can equip an artifact. Equipment, hunter shards. Yeah, we'll need that, but the tutorial explains a little bit of it. So let me just go ahead and start playing so you can get the feel of the game. It is on the Polygon network. So if you're playing... Um, Sunflower land, you can have this game going at the same time. So all you so all you have to do is get in. Get the monsters just have to be within the range of your circle. That's all you have to do. Then these two pop up. I'm gonna go with more XP. Over here is your health, so you can re regenerate health, but just be careful that the monsters, if they are within your range, will follow you. So one of the computer AIs died, which is good. You want them to die. This is all free for all, pretty much. If you end up dying, you get zero reward. Or you lose trophies in your overall rank. So you want to go to places where there's enough monsters. Dead, dead body reported. So as you continue to level up, more and more different monsters come. I'm gonna leave these monsters alone if they, unless they start chasing me. That is. Oh, why did I let that happen? So I lost. I'm gonna. 
I got second place, I got seventh. So let me exit out. So you saw the angel. Let me choose a different one. I don't it's not hard to lose in this game. I unfortunately just was dumb enough for that one. We got Zeus over here. Captain Hook. Let's see, we'll do an uncommon. Let me upgrade him. Cost 800. And uh, is he upgraded fully? Where do you go? Yeah, so will you select that? So Barbarian, I didn't get to see his stats, so 11 plus 2, HP, Slash. So he has a little bit higher health than what the Angel does, So, but the Angel has a longer range. Barbarian has a short range, so he's a pretty much a hand-to-hand -hand combat. And we'll play that mode, Hunt mode one more time. Look at his range. Go damage. These stars can be stolen by other players. So be careful on that one. But if you see their stars and they haven't taken it, go and take it. not take a risk right now because all you, I mean the AI is pretty good I've only had a, a one time where they actually beat me without me dying or them dying but other than that it's easy to beat all you have to do is just survive out eventually they all start to die attack speed Just stole his. Uh, let's go damage. So one more down, I'll take that. You do not need to click anything on your mouse except for the two upgrades over here, selecting. All you have to do is just get in within the, have the monsters within your circle range and they attack by themselves. Hopefully they just kill them. They've been attacked. They got a bunch of monsters right there. Good. Perfect. So I get the victory. Plus nine. I can keep playing, but there's no point to it. Plus nine trophies. Exit out. So you do get your little rewards over here. And there you have it. So I play with two different characters. You can change the mode to boss hunt. I don't recommend this if you're trying to get these trophies because eventually... Um, there's higher ranked players, maybe you go against real players, or the AI is actually pretty good in boss hunt. But let me actually just try it anyway with the legendary. See if I can do something. It does cost two energy to play boss hunt. So this one you are actually working on a team, but the person who does the most damage to the boss will place a higher rank. We have the big dragon boss over here.
I'm gonna go after the boss. I'm gonna hang out over here. Let's see where it attacks. Oh, got hit there. Look at all that damage. So this is why I don't say I recommend playing this mode because look at this. Bro, oh, come on. Got the victory, but I got third place and I just lost two. Really? Come on. Even though we got a win there. So Jake got, and these are the AI. So that's why reason why I don't recommend playing this one. And the bonuses aren't that great either. So exit out of that. So yeah, it's a real easy game to play. I think this game will be great on mobile because you really don't have to do much. Um, go ahead and give this game a try and see if you can earn a free common NFT. It's there for you. Again, use a, you know, if you're not sure what your regular main MetaMask account, go ahead and just put a dummy account, link that in. That way you can just play this game for fun. Again, everything is available. I'll leave all the links below. I just wanted to show you this game as soon as possible so you can get up in their rank and try to get within the 5,000 mark and then get your free NFT. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment below if you're playing this game. Appreciate it. Take care. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Casual Crypto Gamer. Today I'm bringing to you Hunters on Chain by Boomland. So the reason why I'm going to tell you to play this game as soon as possible is with the launch tournament that is happening at the moment. So all you have to do to participate is go to boomland.io. I'll leave the link below. Click on a banner. So if you go to the website, you'll click on play. And then log in with your wallet, which is I have done with my MetaMask wallet up here. Um, I use my dummy MetaMask wallet just in case. So with this, um, when I feel comfortable with it, I'll transfer everything out to my main wallet account. Uh, that's the main thing and reason why I tell you to play this game is because the tournament is going to offer you one common hunter for free. So it will be airdropped to you and along with whatever uh, place, you, whatever rewards you place on top. So I'm currently I'm between the 300 and around 300 and something rank. So I'm be happy with a common NFT plus 390 BGM token. Um, to get this far up, well, it's going to take a lot of a uh, Playing non-stop with a bunch of these characters. So let me go over here to the main game. I'm going to increase this, but I do have the sunflower thing going as well because there's an event going on there as well. So let me